Second stage, we want to do the CCPM of the of the swash range, basically. So we'll put it into um, idle up because my pitch curve curve on idle idle up is a flat pitch curve, so it goes from zero to a hundred. So zero, twenty five, fifty, seventy five, a hundred, just like this. Okay, so we've got. Um, we got 0, 25, 50, inactive means it's a neutral range, so it's 75 automatically, and H is 100. Okay, so that'll give us full stick motion from bottom to top. Okay, so now what we want to do is put it right to the top. up to the top like so and what we're looking for is a gap under any one of these servos okay um, there's no gap here at all because there's no gap you can move to the bottom position so that's pot maximum positive so you should have plus 12 and minus 12 or plus 12 minus 10 whatever you want I've got mine at plus 12 minus 10 um, and then you take it all the way to the bottom and again, check all three of them positions and make sure you don't have any gaps. Okay, now some of you guys are saying, yeah, but what if I do have a gap? Okay, what I do, and I'll put it back up. That low stick. I was getting a problem, oh there we go, yeah, it's gone now. Um, if you have a look in here, I don't know if you can see it, but um, hang on, we'll just get in there so I can show you. That low stick position, you can see there's a gap there under that, under this here. Okay, it's touching in all the other ones. It's touching there in the front one, but this one here has a gap. It's just a small gap, but it's a gap all the same. Um, this will give you a stable heli if you set it up correctly, so it pays to be patient with it. So what I need to do here is set up my aileron. Um, and to find out, see how there's an arrow next to the L there? Um, oh, I'm a bit shaky. <laughs> um, basically, to find out which one's controlling what, see how it's changed to R? I've just pulled that, put the stick right to the top and it's gone to R, which is the top position. This is in the um, travel adjust section. So take it down and see it changes from L to R. L, R. So in the down position, it goes to L. So it's the down position that we're having an issue with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this uh, down position by 5% and see what happens. Okay, the gap's gone. And check the other ones, because you don't want it starting to pick up on the other one. You know what I mean? Like lift it off, off the other pedestal. Okay, so that's all three of them. Perfect. So that's the same. So at the top, do exactly the same thing. Have a look at all three of them. And they're all perfect. Okay, so that's basically setting your CCPM. So now when you move the uh, right through the range, from top to bottom, you've got no gap coming up. Right? So that's your CCPM. Um, now what you need to do is um, set your... Uh, oh, I should have done this in the first place so, you, so that you could see this set up. In the swash mix section, um, 
I've set my aileron and elevator to 55, so minus 55 for my aileron, plus 55 for my elevator, and um, minus 52 for my pitch. Now if you want to increase your pitch so that you've got more range, you can increase it, like take it to minus 55 or minus 60. But what I've done to, to get that setting, I'll show you how I did it, and we're going to do that right now, I'm just going to set this back up. When you're talking about the, the pitch percentage in your swash mix, we've got all our CCPM put up, set up perfectly, okay? There's no gap, but you've got level swash right through the range from the top to the bottom. Okay, um, now we'll just put our head on, carefully, um, and we'll just carefully sit it on there. Just temporarily, just to actually stop the head from moving. And we'll put our four ball joints on. Head sitting on there just with the bolt through, we haven't got the nut on for now. Um, obviously you need to make sure you put all that stuff on correctly when you've finished it. And just check your tightness and ball joints and everything like that. So I've got my four ball, jo ball joints back on now. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put the the helicopter through its complete range of movement. So leave it in idle one, idle up one, and move right through to the top. Now, if you have a look here, I'll just zoom in so you can see. When I move it up, if you see the, the, the gap in here, This gap here under the head, under the head block, see that gap there? Um, what I've done is I've reduced the, the pitch percentage to get that so it doesn't hit the head. Um, I'm still achieving 12 degrees positive pitch, which is great. Um, and then I've got 10 degrees negative pitch down here. And the other thing. To, to check for is like your um, the elevator and uh, aileron settings I've got for 55 what that controls is how much roll out this, the, um, the swash has now I, I, I've I backed that off so that it doesn't actually hit hit the um, the ring here the, the the main shaft ring so it doesn't hit it with the swash otherwise you'll wear out your um, swash itself okay so that pretty much gives you the basics um, once you've got that well obviously once you've got that set up so you've got the CCPM you want to set your zero pitch so to do that put it into throttle hold and that's zero stick remember we, we had 50, zero to fifty percent on the stick doesn't move the swash as you can see once you go over 50 it does so I've, I've just got that low stick so that's, that's simulating mid stick position um, so what you need to do is put your blades on get your pitch gauge and then check to make sure that you've got zero pitch okay so you want zero at mid stick you want um, you want at full stick you want um, plus 10 to 12 and at full negative this is only for idle up of course um, for full uh, idle up you want them uh, at, on negative pitch you want minus 10 to minus 12 so you can adjust it a little bit so if you actually find that you've got a little bit of room up the top here use that rather than going down lower because you're getting quite close to the swash uh, to, to hitting the bearing and the the um, collet lock collet for the main shaft so you want to make sure you don't do that 
So what you can do is you can actually increase it right almost so it touches to get your 12 mil. If you're only getting 10 mil at the bottom, what you can do is go back to mid stick, adjust your um, pitch because you've increased the height here. You adjust your uh, zero, put it back to zero at mid stick and that will balance out, you'll have plus 11 and minus 11. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if it doesn't, I'm sure you'll put some questions down in here for us. Okay, cheers, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to go and fly my heli. Thanks.